मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वील कंटिन्यू द सेम चैप्टर एनर्जी एंड टूडे विल स्टार्ट मैकेनिकल एनर्जी स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट देर इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एनर्जी एंड वर्क दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन इन अ बॉडी टू ब्रिंग अबाउट चेंज इन द स्टेट ऑफ अ बॉडी विल बी इक्वल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन इट that is if a body has 10 joule of energy stored in it we have to apply 10 joule or work done on the body should be equal to 10 joule in order to bring about change in the state of a body so in other words we can say energy is the ability to do work more is the energy more will be the ability to do the work coming to mechanical energy the energy possessed by a body possessed means stored by a body due to its state of rest or motion that is whenever a body is in motion then it will be said to have mechanical energy in it same way if a body has energy stored due to it the rest position then it will be also a mechanical energy we can have example like car in motion swinging pendulum we can also have some more examples like the stretched or stretched bow so the amount of energy stored in the bow will be equal to the amount of work done in stretching the bow same way water stored in a dam this all can also be mechanical energy now mechanical energy can be of two types will be potential energy and kinetic energy we are first going to start with potential energy it is the energy possessed by the body due to its state of rest or position take examples just now i said water stored in a dam so that amount of energy stored in it will be termed as the potential energy similarly when you stretch the rubber of the catapult in hindi we say gulen jab hum log wo rubber ko khinchte hain then some amount of energy is stored in that rubber and that energy is stored is also the potential energy and the amount of energy stored in that rubber will always be equal to the amount of work done to pull the rubber or to stretch the rubber <clears throat> this will be potential energy now potential energy can be of two types one can be the gravitational potential energy and second can be elastic potential energy gravitational potential energy when a body is taken to some height from the earth surface then the energy stored in that body will be the gravitational potential energy because in this case the work is done to take the body at some height from the earth surface is always against the gravity that's why the name comes gravitational potential energy we have the examples like the seal the fan in the ceiling so fan will have potential energy in it water stored in a dam since water is also at some height from the earth surface it will also have a gravitational potential energy similarly when we are raising any object to some height it will have potential or gravitational potential energy stored in it now the second type of potential energy will be elastic potential energy so this is the amount of energy possessed by a body when the body change its position that is when we are stretching the rubber or stretching the spring 
will always have an elastic potential energy stored. And once again, I would like to repeat the amount of energy stored in stretching the rubber of the catapult or stretching the spring will be always equal to the amount of work done to stretch it. We have one more very good example of an elastic potential energy when we wound up the spring of a clock. So that wound or the winding spring also has potential, elastic potential energy stored in that. Because when that spring gets unwind due to the energy released helps the hands of the clock to move. It's only because of elastic potential energy stored in the spring. And next class we will discuss about the kinetic energy. Thank you.